Welcome to Bitcoin Privacy with me, Noisy Mouse. In this video, we'll be looking at round number payment heuristic. Similar to our previous heuristic, where we try to follow our subject's activity by following their change output based on the output with the largest value. In round number payment heuristic, where we make the assumption that the output with round number value as the payment output, which would mean that the other output should be the change output. Technical jargon aside, let's take a look at this example transaction on OXT. Select the blue dot, which represents a transaction. Go over to the very left and select display transaction details. Next, if you click on the dotted line icons above the eyeball, it will expand the selected transaction, which does the same thing as double clicking on the transaction itself. Here we have a simple spend transaction of one input and two outputs. Output index zero here has a value of 0 0.01 Bitcoin, a round number. According to our heuristic, that's the payment output, which means output one should be the change output. Let's double click on the transaction where the change output is spent. Once again, output zero's value is a round number, which should make it the payment output, making output one as the change output. Let's select the next transaction that consumed the change output by clicking on the transaction only once. This time, we will follow the change by selectively expanding this particular output. Select the next transaction. This time, however, there is no output with round number as payment. But if we have learned anything from the previous transactions, it is quite likely output zero is the payment and output one is the change. But maybe this time is different. Maybe the wallet software have swapped the output position this time round. If we have a closer look, after a one input, one output transaction, we have reached a dead end. This transaction output now belongs to the UTXO set. This doesn't look like the usual transaction pattern from our subject's wallet. Let's backtrack and follow what we initially assumed was the change output. And it looks like we are back on track on following our subject's change output. Output zero is once again a round payment. Let's keep following the change output. Looks like we have arrived at a dead end for now, as the change output is unspent. In summary, we were able to track our subject's spending records by following the change outputs because the wallet software had a fixed position for the change output, which is always at index 1. Every output 1 also happened to have a larger value than output 0. Not to mention the round number at output 0, which gives it away as a payment output. This is the end of the video. I hope you have learned something new. I'll see you in the next one.